Hey guys, if you followed my channel recently, I'm sure you came across the video where I showed how to delete a recent Core i7 6700K, also called Intel Skylake CPU. Of course, the razor blade method works quite well. For me, it worked for like four or five CPUs without any problems. But I had one CPU where I cut a little bit too deep into the PCB and damaged the CPU and lost some PCI Express lanes. So yeah, there is still some risk. Uh, yeah, that's basically why I made this little tool. It's called the Delete D Mate. So it's a small tool made for CPU deleting. Yeah, the key is that you can put the CPU in here, turn the little screw in the back, and it's already done. The CPU is deleted. It's based on the Vice method. Uh, yeah, I will show afterwards how I did it on a i7 6700K, so you can get an idea how it works. The cool thing is that it works with all the recent CPUs, so up from Ivy Bridge, uh, Haswell, Devils Canyon, Skylake, absolutely no problem. All compatible with this little tool. Uh, it will be available on caseking.de soon. If you need any help uh, to get one of those devices, just drop me a message, there's no problem. Another cool feature is that you can glue the IHS back on with this little tool, so you don't need to put the, ba uh, the CPU back in the socket. You basically just put the CPU in the device, turn the, the top plate around, screw it back, and then it's good for gluing the IHS back. Okay, so let's take a look how it actually works. So first of all, place your CPU in the middle. You can see I'm using a Skylake CPU. That's why I'm using the plate where it says S, which is the marker for Skylake. You can also see that the delete demate is made out of basically three parts, excluding the screws. After putting the CPU in, you have to tighten those six screws, which are securing the CPU and make sure the IHS or the CPU cannot move while the delete process. So tightening the screw on the bottom, which I'm doing now, is actually deleting the CPU. So there's also a small window inside the tool where you can see the IHS moving. So keep turning the screw and it will build up a lot of pressure and then it will snap at a little point and that's when you know the CPU is deleted. You can see that the IHS moved at that point and then you can turn the screw back. Afterwards you also have to remove the six screws again to take a look at your successfully deleted CPU. By the way the part on top is also where you can glue the IHS back on. Just simply turn around the top plate and that's how you can glue back the IHS. So now you can take a look at the 6700K, deleted, no problem, everything is safe. I tested the CPU, everything working. So yeah, if you have any questions about the tool, just let me know in the comments. See ya.